It's Mr. Katype's shoe. Well, I feel like I should call him Don now that we've been through this together. It's Don's shoe. Well, at least that thing took some damage. I think it's a little loose now. There's a weird glow emanating from behind it. What the... I'd knock it off for sure, but I can't reach that high. I just realized how long I've actually wanted to do this. Don sends his regards, ugly. Is... is this what Don was after? This looks nothing like the other editions. Creep factor just went up 200%. Who would hide it up there? And why? You're coming with me, weird book. Well, I never thought I'd actually say this, but the Necronomicon feels weird in my pants. Oh boy, what an evening. Think, boss, think! Don's been kidnapped. The police are a bunch of corrupt and incompetent tools. What do I do? Well, Orn can close up for the night. Things are way too messed up to stick around. The best thing to do is retreat to the bus cave, clear my head, and see what this strange book is all about. <sighs> okay, safely home. What... what the hell was all that about? Is this really happening? Am I really talking out loud to myself? What is this book? God, I need to stop talking to myself. I sound crazy. Kitty, should I open this thing and see what's written in it? What do you say? <sighs> You're a lot of help. Okay, might as well take a peek. Ia, Ia, Kashaptu Zidinjir Kampa, Per Adonai Methatron. What the? This is genuinely becoming really scary now, and I'm all alone. What do I do, Kitty? God, God, I wish I you could talk, talk back, back for back once. once. Okay, I know I've been saying everything felt weird before, but that was really, really weird. Something feels very different now. As much as I hate agreeing with you, something does feel very different now. I know, right? Maybe reading that out loud wasn't such a good idea, huh? It sure seems so. Right? I mean... Whoa, 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 whoa wait! Are you actually talking back to me? Took you a while, huh? <laughs> I feel like we were in a much more productive place a few moments ago. You know, analyzing the situation. Maybe working toward a solution? You talk! I stand corrected. You seem to have a firm grip on the situation. But how? You just read an incantation and then wished out loud that I could talk back. So... This is wrong. This can't be happening. This is wrong! Wait, I know. I'll just find the spell or whatever it is and reread it and, and reverse this. That should work, right? You're not really expecting any kind of relevant answer from me, are you? Right. I mean... Oh. Oh, what the... It's gone! I can't find it anywhere! I had... This was definitely the page I read it from, but there's different text on it now. What the... Should I read it out loud? Wait... Sorry, I wasn't considering your point of view here. Do you want to be a... Talking cat? 
Please don't take this the wrong way, but that's a resounding and definitive no. I just don't want your kind of problems, man. My deal is sleeping, eating, and generally being decorative. I can get behind that. Okay, here goes. Shunu limutuma anakulu ublui, zidinjir anakanpa. I wish Kitty would go back to normal. Did it work? <coughs> Darn it, can't even meow right anymore. I think it's safe to say it hasn't. Oh boy, this is a problem. This is a problem. Um, by the way, Kitty, nice to meet you. We've known each other for years, dude. Kitty, is that what I call you? Uh, haven't you been doing it for years already? Dumbest name possible if you ask me, but I don't care either way. I don't need one. So, are you gonna um, stick around? No, I'm gonna walk the earth like Kane in Kung Fu. You'll stick around and undo this. You really think I want to be like you for the rest of my life? That's gotta be racist or something. We're not even the same species. We need to find a way to reverse this, so get to thinking! Yeah, you're right. I'm on it. It's Kitty, my cat. She talks now. Your cat? Um, just a figure of speech. That's been there since Lemon left for that esoteric retreat. I'm frankly afraid to touch it. Oh no, I never eat Lemon's cooking. He puts stuff in food. Weird stuff. Not on your life, buddy. It's our one and only treasured lighter. Gonna grab this for a while. Beyond this impenetrable portal adorned with god-awful decorations lies Lemon's Shangri-La. That's our tiny fridge. Hey, it's not completely empty. It's a can of Dr. Fisher, produced exclusively with fish matheria water. That ensures my lips will never go anywhere near it. Gonna grab this. It's our oven. I'm deathly afraid of it. Long story. I'm not sure I can bring myself to open the oven. I'm a weak, weak man. Hey, Kitty, think you can open that oven for me real quick and take a peek inside? Sure thing, boss. As soon as I grow opposable thumbs, you're gonna have to man up and do it yourself. Come on, Buzz. You can do it, dude. I, I can? Yeah, it's just fear. Stupid fear. Yes, and fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger... Open the damn oven, Kerwin! Yeah, yes, yep. I did it! Hey, and there's Lemon's key! Oh, and there's a cookie in here. A suspicious one. Yeah, I think I'll take it. You know, for sustenance. Ugh, I would not recommend you eat that. Eh, yeah, I'll take it either way.
it's Ron Dilbert. Ron can't help us now. Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. Scenic Transylvania. That's where my roots are. Someday soon, I hope. Yeah, yeah, pretty. Let's move on. They're not toys, okay? I don't play with them. Well... I don't like this new situation at all. Completely useless right now. Please don't drag me into your immaturity. That's Kitty. My, uh, Kitty. Yeah, I know. Not the most imaginative name. Totally understandable. Really? Yes, really. If I were called Buzz, I'd be reluctant to get creative when naming anyone, too. Touché, pussycat. Nah, I don't need it. It's an embarrassing baby picture. Move on. My tablet. It's been charging for two days now. I don't think I'll bother her about it. No use. It's dead. Dead as... well, dead. Lemons locked the door when he left for that esoteric retreat, and of course he has no phone signal or internet. Great. Kitty, I'm a little stumped here. I have no idea what to do next. We're clearly in over our heads. Maybe we should reach out to someone who knows more about this black magic thing. You've got a point. Hmm. Wait, what about my roommate, Lemon? He's my roommate too, remember? Yeah, he does know a lot of people. A lot of suspicious people. They're really into his homemade cookies, for some reason. Suspicious people is definitely who we're after. I've seen him write down names in this little notebook. Maybe we should look for it. He's away on that esoteric retreat thing, though. No way to reach him. We're gonna have to find a way to get inside his room. I have a feeling somewhere inside this horribly over-decorated piece of furniture lies what we're looking for. Of uh, all things whose purpose is to be lit up, this one scares me the least. I can't just snap my fingers and produce fire, unfortunately. I don't want to burn my delicate fingertips. It's a book Lemon left open. Let's see here. Page on the left says, A compass is a magnetized pin floating in a solution. It's not the 1700s anymore, Lemon. Jeez, what a Luddite. The page on the right says, Invisible ink. Use lemon juice to write secret messages on paper. Only you will be able to then read them by bringing the paper close to a source of heat. Note, make that a source of mild heat, not open flame. Hmm. It's a book lemon left open. A compact. The page on the right says, invisible ink. Note, make that. No need. I can read it myself. It's one of those lick... Uh, 
tiny cute guitars. Oh no, my band days are long gone. I don't think she'd be inclined to play that thing. I think it's supposed to be a fertility idol. Kinda scary if you ask me. We thankfully have no need for it. It's locked. I know it's locked. It's always locked. Oh, that's gaudy. Hey, looks like there's something under this. What do you know? A pair of scissors. Scissor my way inside. A brilliant idea. Not. I doubt it would do anything here. All right, Kitty. I have a feeling the notebook we're looking for is somewhere inside this locked closet. I can't really think of a way to open it. Couldn't you just randomly combine some household items into a makeshift key or something? I'm sure I could, but I was thinking maybe you could shoulder this particular burden. <sighs> Let's not make a habit of this. Ugh, this patchouli sink is giving me dizzy cells. Oh, here it is. I haven't done that since I was a kitten. Still got it. Hmm, the pages are all blank. What am I missing here? Let's moderately heat this baby. Yes! It worked! Lemon, one too many cheesy detective novels. All right, kitty, now let's see this list here. <laughs> Woo! I think I got it. How's VG for all your supernatural needs sound? And there's the address, we're practically neighbors. It's the best option we've got so far. Uh, there's something I'm not sure I mentioned before. This detective that was looking for the Necronomicon, Don, got kidnapped right in front of me. Oh right, you've mentioned it, let's go. But we've gotta try and rescue him. <sighs> Alright, do you know who kidnapped him? I guess we have no lead yet. Lead. Sam Spade over here. You know how you humans always stereotype us as being selfish? Uh, sorry about that? Don't be, because in my case, that's exactly how it is. I'm sorry, but I could give a kitten's fluffy tail about your detective friend. My main worry right now is my own predicament. Why didn't you call the police or something? Oh, Darkham PD, only the most corrupt and despicable organization in town? Makes these cultists look like fuzzy bunnies nibbling on baby carrots by comparison. No, we're on our own. Interesting imagery. Anyway, your friend Don's on his own too. It's a catty cat world out there. How about we keep him as objective B, all right? Whatever makes me A works for me. Let's roll, Marlo. All right, kitty. Looks like we're on a quest together. Any cool battle cry like words before we embark on it? I'm a little hungry, and I'm afraid my fur is going to get all matted in these filthy streets. Sorry, you were saying? I was thinking more like time for, you know, whatever adrenaline-pumping music kids listen to these days. Time for Bossa Nova! Let's get on with it. Rare. <laughs> <laughs> That ominous tower belongs to the local waterworks. That sign keeps popping up all over the place lately. Ugh, never could stand fish. If they're trying to keep people away from Fishmouth, 
It's working. Fish Mutt's own. There, now I'm that one guy in the theater reading the title out loud. It's the door to the fishery. It's closed and locked. Christopher Valiant Street. Never heard of him. Man, that's one attractive dude. This picture of a male model? I feel like I need... I need to have it. Just to be clear, I am not picking this up for personal use. Used to be you'd absentmindedly open this door and the whole of Darkham would be flooded. Is that... is that water I hear lapping behind the wall? It somehow looks... old. That sign keeps popping up. A weird looking kiddo in the middle of the street. I... I think I'd better talk to her. <sighs> hey, little girl, what are you doing in the street by yourself this late at night? Hey, big guy, what are you doing disturbing peaceful citizens for no good reason this late at night? Let me try that again. What's your name, kiddo? If you must know, it's Priscilla. Are you sure you don't mean Priscilla? Do I look like the kind of person who can't correctly pronounce their own name? It's Priscilla! What's your name, smarty pants? Um, Buzz. Buzz? My dad really loved his electric shaver. Hey, I was just genuinely concerned. Well, don't be. Drop my fishy and that sign up there, and Grandma let me come out on the street and try to get it. But I can't reach it! Aren't your mom or dad around? Mom and dad moved to Fishmith last month. And we'll move there too. Soon. Not until I get my fishy! What's so special about that fishy? Fishies are the greatest, you ignoramus! Plus, it's my fishy. Alright, alright, settle down. Can't grandma help you out? Grandma's been taking her bath for quite a while now. Grandma says we'll go to Fishmas soon. We're just waiting for this big bathtub we ordered to be delivered. Grandma can't go traveling without her new bathtub. All right, weird enough. So, you're just standing there, huh? People tend to do that in this kind of game. Yeah, I always wondered about that. I just like to watch them sitting there, clicking their little lives away. Okay. Aren't your mom or dad around? Mom and dad moved to Fish Mithla. You know, this just feels wrong somehow. I'm a dark-haired little girl, standing in the middle of the street at night, holding a doll by the hand. Scared yet? Scared? Nope. A little bit creeped out by how irresponsible your grandma is, though. I'll give you that. Whew. 
has a fish doll? I can't reach it from down here. Hey, kitty, how about you climb up and get that fish for me? Well, you gotta ask yourself, Buzz. What do we stand to gain from me exerting myself in that manner? Uh, nothing for now, I guess. See? Don't anger me, feline. Come on, Buzz. You're embarrassing yourself. Don't you want to do it just to put a smile on that little girl's face? You mean that pale abomination? How about we have nothing to do with her or her face? How's that sound? Your heart is the tip of a glacier that was accidentally bitten off by a blind, evil old sea monster, kitty. Don't try to flatter me. It won't work. She's a carnivore. And smart enough not to touch Lemon's cooking. It's not tempted by my cookie. Oh, those cool circular cuts. These would have to be diamond, and I'd have to like fish. We have bigger fish to fry, Buzz. I see what you did there. You know, I've never crossed that bridge, and I got there several times. Void Smoker Alley. Never heard of him. Let's check out the tiny print. Apparently, this guy was a struggling artist that aged naturally while his portrait stayed the same. What a lousy demonic deal. That's Jeremiah Orne, Old Man Orne's ancestor. He's practically the father of the Miskatonic Library. That's Jeremiah Orne. This small window somehow communicates with the interior. How cool is that? No idea who this guy is, but his beard looks real tentacly. Is that a nose or a beak? Man, Darkham City Council is all weird when it comes to statue choices. Big D Street. No idea who this guy is either. Alright, let's look at the tiny print. Absent-minded professor and big proponent of video games in general. Will forever be remembered for always choosing keyboards over controllers. Man, they'll just name streets after anyone these days. Unless my eyes betray me, it's a taxi. A yellow one. There is a guy inside, but I can't quite distinguish his face. Evening! It sure is. Get a lot of customers tonight? Not if you don't move out of the way, I don't. Do you know anything about this mysterious building you're parked next to? Look, kid, it's a taxi, not a guided tour bus. Got a scoot. Aw, look at the cute voodoo dolls. Who would just leave them here? These dolls are probably already voodooified and best left where they are. On the other hand, who dare touch them? But they'd look great on that shelf near my bed. What do you mean, Som D. Who? Just Wikipedia, you slacker. The Baron's not to be trifled with.
It's a nice looking blonde lady. Yup, definitely a nice looking blonde lady. Hey there! Hello? Approaching lonely women on benches at night, are we? Not interested. I'm sorry, miss, but I feel this strange urge to bother everyone I meet and ask a lot of questions. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, sorry, let me start again. My name's Buzz. Oh, that's just preposterous. I... I have a B-shaped birthmark. Nice uh, evening we're having, huh? Really? Why don't you just keep it original and ask for the time? I think I'm misrepresenting myself here. Oh, sure, sure. Gotta run. So run. Gotta run. Well, at least it's not Fishmouth. Darkham is particularly horrid this time of year. That's Steve the Gargoyle. Oh, we go way back. Steve is the silent type. They wouldn't like each other. Stay in school. I thought I was making such a statement. Or was I trying to be ironic and hip? Can't remember. Some of the most fascinating books I've ever read. I personally and lovingly arranged them all in one book rack. All gone. Such a loss. <clears throat> all gone. Amazingly, none of the maroon books look damaged. Die hard little. They're the last thing I need at the moment. That hogwash is the last thing I need. A very intriguing looking book. Maybe I should take a closer look. I don't know if this is something I need right now. I'd better take a look at it first. A very convenient treatise on the order voodoo magic ingredients should be used in. Whoa, convenient to say the least. Mental note, sometimes examining items several times really pays off. A very convenient... Whoa. Mental note. Do it yourself. You're the one with opposable thumbs.
A warm reddish-orange glow emanates from its tiny opening. Um, hello there? Password? Ken sent me. Wrong game, my friend. Hmm, no, they're already voodooified, I think. I don't think there's any connection here. Nah. Um, hello there? Password? Password. Nice try, buddy. Um, password? Swordfish? Too classic. There's that blonde lady over there. Oh yeah, brought her here a while ago. What can you tell me about her? Man, that sounds creepy as hell. You an investigator or something? Not yet, but I'm slowly becoming one. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Not gonna say anything, son. Her business is her business. So about the blonde girl. Yeah? What's she to you? I'm a friend. I'm a little worried about her, so I watch her from afar. Oh, friend. Right. I happen to have overheard what her name is. You know, taxi stuff, nothing creepy. Surely you know it too, since you're friends. I'm, I'm having a t temporary memory lapse. I'll get back to you on that. Anyway, I was wondering if you're waiting by this mysterious door. Oh, did he give you the boot too? He told me I just have to sit for a while and rethink what I wished for my husband. He told you? The gentleman, dummy. Oh, of course. So, what do you wish for your husband? Why, his untimely gruesome death, of course. Of course. I'm Margot, by the way. Nice to meet you, Margo. Can I ask what your husband did to make you homicidal? Oh, I'm perfectly convinced he's trying to murder me to get my money. Ouch. Wouldn't it be easier to just divorce or write him out of the will? Yes, I guess it would be. But what better way of responding to murder than with, well, murder? I'm never getting married. Say, you wouldn't happen to be a gun for hire, would you? I'm a librarian. Oh, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm a... Uh, never mind. So the gentleman wouldn't help you off your hubby, huh? Something about not doing any literal harm and using the forces for good to balance out recent events. Blah, blah, blah. Did you try marriage counseling? That's where I got this address. Okay. Gotta run. So run.